Old Guard, a new movie on Netflix came out this weekend and uh, just here for my quick review of the movie. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed this show. Um, you know, it was a lot more good than bad. There was a little bit of bad, but the good, I think, definitely outweighs that. You know, this is a movie based on a comic book series and you could really tell that there is a lot of depth and even a lot of depth that we didn't get to see within the movie that these characters have. You know, this isn't just base level, you know, there's somebody's put a great deal of thought into each and every one of these characters. And that was one of the highlights of this movie. Uh, Charlize Theron, she plays the main character. Andromeda, also mainly referred to as Andy. Uh, she's the original member of the old guard. So she's a, just this person who happens to be immortal and also just a badass warrior. And, you know, the general story is that she's connected to these other individuals who are also immortal. And over time, you know, when they're sort of reborn that she is connected to them and goes and finds them. Um, so the main story falls, falls around Andy and uh, three other of her uh, members of the old guard, Joe and Nikki, who are lovers and their general story is that they originally met on the battlefield and after killing each other repeatedly, they just decided it would be easier to, you know, just stay with each other. Um, and then, and then the fourth one being book and, you know, you don't really get as much background on book, you know, this kind of book is kind of paralleled with Andy in that, you know, they're, they're the lonely ones that you know they don't have someone to share this journey with like joe and nikki they've kind of been stuck on their own but you do find out that andy did originally kind of have someone named quinn who was uh thrown into the ocean in an in an iron maiden and basically left at the bottom of the ocean to suffer for all of eternity and you know, you can, we kind of get some hints that um, she was possibly still alive because part of the story is that this new member is born, Niall Freeman, and she uh, has this dream of this person underwater screaming. And the, the one of the things is that when you're first reborn, you are kind of connected through dreams or memories of the other members of the old guard until you meet that person. So kind of gives you this, this hint that, oh, she's actually still alive and out there, but that's kind of where the character of Quinn gets left until the very end of the movie where she's introduced as the sort of villain for the next reincarnation of the movie um you know the whole general idea of this group is just kind of cool it had a different feel than i would compare i would compare this to superhero movies had a different feel than superhero movies like they feel like regular people but when they die they heal like they kind of heal like wolverine it's like wolverine without the claws you know he get wolverine gets shot in the head that bullet is gonna heal push out of his head drop on the ground you like they just have the regeneration part of wolverine like not the claws so i really like that and then on top of that there's a little bit of mystery around what's going on with with this group of characters like why them you know, why does, did, was there one guy that it just stopped? Uh, and then you find out during the movie that it's, it's stopped for Andy, that she's no longer healing and like why and what's going on. And that's really the good part of, of this whole franchise. And that's the part that really makes you 
want more. Like I'm definitely left at the end of this movie wanting more, like wanting to possibly dive into the comics or or get my hands on the next movie as soon as the possible. Um, there is a lot of action in this movie and I would just kind of say that the action was just okay to good. You know, these aren't John Wick level fight scenes. This isn't like groundbreaking, like something like Jason Bourne was back in the day. The fights are just good. Um, they're definitely not a negative in the movie, but I often found myself, you know, wanting those action scenes to kind of end so we could kind of get back to more with our with our group of characters. As for the bad, I would say the bad ends up being the sort of villain in the second half of the movie, which is just a stereotypical CEO of a pharmaceutical company discovers that there's different people out there in the world and has now made it his mission to capture these people and do tests on them. Um, you know, it felt just very generic and didn't really feel like it helped advance what the first half of the movie was really building like the the story with them finding Niall and her kind of adjusting from her regular life into being part of this old guard was really cool and then we just kind of get sidetracked with the whole pharmaceutical company capturing the members of the old guard and then Niall having having to come and save them. I, I feel like a similar story could have played out without delving into that very simple character of the just evil, evil big pharma guy. Um, but with that said, the good definitely out outweighs the bad here. And I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. And as I said before, can't wait to see what Netflix does with this in the future. Uh, the acting was superb in this in this movie. You know, sometimes action superhero movies get a little bit too cheesy, but I didn't I didn't get that vibe from the old guard. Uh, the the acting was stellar stellar throughout, and uh, yeah, I want I want some more. So Netflix, make sure you make another one. Like, don't pull a bright on us, where you make this cool movie. And then just a second bright just never happens. Like start making a, the second the old guard as soon as you can here because the I know myself, I'm sure many other fans out there are craving another movie. All right, that is going to wrap up my review of the old guard. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later.